Um, yeah, what's well, not the exact address? So school's just starting up for you again. So yeah. like, how, how, how are stress levels doing? Um, right now, it's meh. It's like, it's okay. I actually have uh, a dance class at five, so I need to leave that rehearsal early. I usually change and eat in the car. What high school students go through is either too much stress or the wrong kind of stress. I like, don't have time. I, like, I don't have time to cook. I have to study. Absolutely. Do I need to go to the washroom? No, I can hold it for like another hour. If I would just turn 13 in high school, Jeez. and I had that going for me, like a lot of these busy schedules and stuff. Yeah, more than a full-time job. More than a full-time job. Because you're all describing to me more than full-time jobs. You always want to think like, oh yeah, no, I'm working this hard, which means I need to have payoff, right? And when something doesn't work out, I usually go like straight to next year or the year after, just the future. And it's like, what are you going to do now? There's a stereotype that runs in the Asian community where you always have to do good plus a bit more. Every kid is exactly like we are in high school. It's stacked on and stacked on. So if we don't do something, then there's millions of kids out there who are going to get that job that we, that we want. And if we slack off, then we feel that, well, now all these other people are going to get that before I am. We are making art out of pain. And what's even better is that we're sharing it with the world, right? And so we're making this artistic view out of pain and out of emotions and we can share it with everyone and hopefully they can feel more empathy towards it because of this art form. One thing I really enjoy about teaching teenagers film is they're not bogged down by the idea of like what can and can't be done in film yet. They have this really strong voice and they have this really strong sense of what they would like to share. They don't always have the tools. So I thought, what if we gave them the tools? What if we gave them that voice? You want to come in? It's so studio. Six a.m. Lights up. Yeah. Oh hey. Didn't see you there. Welcome to our set. All right. I am Juliet. I am sixteen years old. I'm going into grade eleven. And, um, yeah, I, I dance at the Royal Olympic Ballet. Jules, she is this ball of energy, super keen, super smart for her age, really mature, but also knows how to kick back and have fun, which is what I think kind of gets her through her insane schedule. The kid dances like six days a week and does it all with a smile on her face. And like, I know it gets to her sometimes. What's a personal experience you've had with burnout? Um, there was a time where I was doing maybe three productions at once, plus a ton of schoolwork and plus dance and plus everything. And just the overwhelming experience just made me collapse a little bit, right? And suddenly I couldn't prioritize because I had to, everything had to be the number one priority, right? When you're stressed, for me at least, it's a big buildup in emotions. It's a buildup, and just having that one moment to just let out everything, it's kind of like an, you're emptying something and you can fill up a jar, perhaps. Fill up something else so you're free to just, like, feel it. You always want to think you're above average, right? It's just, it's just what everyone wants to think. Mm -hmm. So you just work really hard to feel that way. Right, yeah. and then if, if you can, make it though, or if you have like that one, like the one thing you can't, you do seem below average at it feels. Yeah. It's like, kind of like a punch in the chest, yeah. honestly. Yeah. 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 So, Candace, I may actually get you back here again. Okay. Do movement. Yeah. I think these dark clouds totally work for this scene. Yes. <laughs> They're so scary looking. Yeah, with the sun, like that's interesting. Yeah. Really I'm Teresa, and um, I'm doing this because I know a lot of people who undergo through stress because of their busy schedules, me included. We're going to set up this thing of where the chart of it says feels like. <laughs> so what does stress feel like to you? It's kind of just like strings tied to my fingers. Because I always like, count, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. But they're all at different lengths because 
I have to I met Trace about four years ago. She was kind of one of the first kids to come into our program. Just a really, really cool kid. Really, really sharp, really witty. Quiet kid, didn't draw a lot of attention to herself. But then one day we casted her in a web series and I was like, oh man, this kid can act. Like she has a really intense presence on screen. I think Teresa's no stranger to stress. The kid puts a lot of pressure on herself to succeed and do well in both school and really anything she does. I really bad mark. It was, it was a pass, but I felt like it was a really bad mark because it wasn't like, what I was expecting and I just felt like, I just felt pathetic. I was thinking that those were the activities that were tied to me. Those were the things that I'm required to do, I need to do, and that I need to balance that. And I wanted to represent that using the strings with tension. Sometimes people make expectations because of my race. And these guys are wearing these glasses. So it's like, what are, the, what are those kind of represent? Um, it kind of represents the people who look at me through those lenses. Right. And at one point during this scene, you actually like take one of them off? Yes, and then I snap in half because <laughs> it shows that it's not something that should be done. Right. Like, you shouldn't be defined by that stereotype. Yeah, you, you shouldn't. shouldn't be defined. Like, you can do whatever you want as long as it makes you happy. And if it's academics, that's great. But if it's something else, then that's great, too. Here we are. Not today. Daniel Bear is preparing for his movie debut, as you can see. He's looking over his 200 lines that he's doing. <laughs> Well, I'm Daniel Bear. I'm uh, 17 years old now, and uh, I'm currently in university, and I just graduated high school. I'm studying film. I'm hoping to uh, do practically anything in film. Daniel, I've, I've known for many, many years now. Uh, Daniel first came into a program I taught called Native Youth Theatre, and he came in and he was just a quiet, as quiet as kid, and he was so nervous around everyone else. Very, very sweet kid, though, and last couple years really found his voice, really found his confidence. Very natural leader uh, when it comes to being a director on set. But like in the last scene, it was still kind of abstract where they were like giving me all the boxes to carry and that like represents everything going on in my life. But now we kind of made that transition into not so much like their psyche and stuff, but more how they're dealing with things and what it feels like. Like I can deal with stress and like the way that comes with it. It's just it's very difficult and it can take a real toll on your mental health, especially if you don't know how to quite deal with it. And as like a young a younger person it's difficult to catch these things and you don't quite know exactly what they mean so you can't find the right help for it until it gets quite extreme. You have the stigma that if you seek out help or you have a therapist or psychologist that you're somehow weaker and uh, for me that used, I used to think like that before I even knew I had a mental illness. I really had to tackle it and focus on myself and what I was dealing with before I could focus on anything else films my life and I really want to do this and it's a great medium to kind of express these feelings in either abstract ways or just straight up telling people this is what it feels like and in doing this we're showing people both those sides so we're showing them in a way what it feels like to be in the mind of somebody with a mental illness and dealing with the stress but then we're also verbally telling them like what's going on in our lives and how it affects us instead of just kind of hoping that they get it and that they understand. This is going to show not only teachers and adults alike, but even high school students and younger that, like, this is normal and it's going to suck. But as long as you are strong to yourself and, like, you tell yourself that it's okay if I need help, then you can do it and there are resources for you to go to. Six a.m. Lights up. I already hear the instructor belting counts in my ear, and the day begins. My day begins walking down the hallway like a mindless drone. Take this, take that. They say. It's only eight thirty, and already my day, my week, my month is right before me. As I try to catch my breath, the strings start to attach. 
some long, some short, all pulling me. They pull and they demand. How can strings be as heavy as chains? I feel its cold hands on my shoulders and whispers, you can't do it, you can't do it. And before I know it, I'm muttering, I can't do this, I can't do this. They offer me help. I'll take that. Let me take that for you. But the sickness in my head tells me, no, you need to do this alone. I'm being pulled into the darkness with fear hanging on me. The fear of failure. The feeling of frustration surfaces, slowly holding on to me, causing me to stumble. The pride you felt is suddenly demolished by shame. You are not good enough. It makes me think as I feel the icy hands crawl up again. Be a man, they say. Don't feel. But I do feel, and I don't think it's a bad thing. Not enough hours in the day. Not enough space in between the lines on my calendar. Overwhelming like a slow building alarm. A ringing in my head that drowns everything else out. I just need a minute. Just one minute to breathe. One minute to feel it all. To scream. Just one minute and I'll be okay to continue. To push myself. All around me, I'm surrounded by my life. If I move, everything will crumble. If I stay, it's only a matter of time before I do. But you're this, they say. Why can't you achieve that? You should be doing more. Aren't you all good at that? Some of these expectations come from others, but I think most might come from me. Success takes effort and constant determination. The fear of failure is something that begs for your attention. It feeds off your energy to thrive, like how a parasite feeds off their host. See me for who I am, not what stereotypes say I should be. I am an individual. No, I can do this. I'll be okay. We're going to be okay. There's a lot being asked of us right now. Families, teachers, friends. We're trying, but we're not indestructible. We want to be all the things you hope we will, but we also need to be kids. We need to be able to take a breath every once in a while. We need to laugh and be silly with our friends. Give us the chance and we will become the generation of change that the world needs, but we will not become the burnout generation to do so. To our fellow youth, we say this. Prioritize you because you is enough. It's difficult to find who you are and that's okay. You are stronger than the things you have to overcome. Breathe. For the love of everything, just breathe. We can do this. <laughs>